Hello everyone, I'm Lacey. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to put together just a reading log or a little planner just to help me keep up with my reading. That's the one thing that I said I was going to work on was reading more. I actually have a book that I'm getting ready to start reading and I thought this would be perfect for me to use. So if you're interested in seeing how I put together my reading log and everything for all things reading, just keep watching. All right, y'all, so, oh, sorry. I am going to start with, I pulled out all the things that I need um, to put together just this little, I don't know if we wanna call it a planner. I guess we can call it a planner, but just to put this together for reading. I received this in my cloth and paper subscription box, this bundle, and I decided I would go ahead and use it, and so, that's what we're going to do today. All right, so I have some discs. I got metal discs from Amazon. Um, I don't remember who it's from, but I'll link it below. You can hear that and see that and see the shine on it. These discs are really nice. I believe these are maybe one, one inch disc. Maybe one inch. Maybe 1.25. But I'll leave them below in the um, description box. All right, so I'm going to start with, I don't have a backing or one that's close by, so I'm going to use this backing from Notique, and I'm going to use um, Muse. This is from Cloth and Paper, and this is a cover, and so I think I'll like that for reading. So let me go ahead and put these on first. So I want to use things that I already had. The only thing that I did not have was disc. So I decided to go ahead and order me some metal disc. Y'all, I love, I love the metal disc. It's just easier for the paper to glide on. And if you got the, uh, the subscription box, hopefully this will give you some ideas of what you can do with it. Also, if you're new to planning and you're putting a planner together for the first time, this is how I start. So basically this is the um this will be my cover for it and then i'm gonna start by putting the insert in next so this is the front of it that says that's the thing about books they let you travel without moving your feet all right so this is the starts out with the reading log and i'm gonna use this um this from cloth and paper about your mind believes everything you tell it because I like the way this looks because it looks like a, a book. So doesn't that look cute? The grid section and then we have the reading log. It says uh, title, author, start, end, and the rating. Y'all, I wish I would read 60 books. <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. All right. And then it's a monthly read. The way I'm going to use this, I'm going to start now in October. So I'm gonna start in October, I'll do November and December, and then I'll whip back around to January, and I'll just put, change the year. Okay, and then after that, there's a book log for each book, title and synopsis. Okay, it's a book log. Let me know in, in the description box, do y'all read a lot? I am a school teacher and I feel like I read so much for school that I don't read a lot for, you know, for my own pleasure. And so that's one of my goals. All right, then it says index. So this is for a moment. I thought I would use this for quotes or if something really resonated with me in the book, then I would write it down right here. So we have index. There's quite a few of these. So 
So this is the vocabulary section. I'm going to go ahead and add this right here. This is a lover of words. This was a dashboard from Cloth and Paper that I, I actually had it for my A5, and I went ahead and just cut it down. I think that's going to be great to go right there to start the vocabulary. Okay. Oh, and then in the back, I'm just putting some blank dot paper if I need to write down some additional notes. Okay, that's the way that looks on the back. Nice, right? All right, so I'm going to make sure, go through and make sure I have everything where I want it. So it's going to be for the reading log. I'm also going to use these page flags, and I also have these post-its that I can use. So for the reading log... Go ahead and put that, just put it up here. Too far out. I'll use my label maker. Next is monthly reads. Lined up, lined up right. And then this is the book log. Put this right here. This is also from CMP. I think on here I'm going to use the just do not forget. Almost like a reminder to log the book. What that looks like. Let me try this right here. This is a little vellum that I made. Okay, I like that. Y'all, you know I like having different um, tabs. I'm going to leave that right there. Okay, for book log. Then after book log. This is the index. All right, that's the index. It's quite a few of those. I've been having this for quite some time. And then this will be the lover of words section. Yay! Okay. Just for the, I don't want to say the look, I'll have these, I'll use these reed sticky notes. We'll put one right here. And then I always like to have a, a pocket. 
always. Make sure I got it right. And then I can put some type of card inside the pocket. This annotation card can go inside of there. That's great. I'm going to put a couple of sticky notes on here. Just because right there right here like the way that looks I think I'm just gonna put it right here on the reading log page okay the rest of this I don't need let's see what this looks like let's do a quick little flip through <laughs> And I'll, um, I need to go ahead and put the little labels on there and show y'all what that looks like. So here we go. Open it through. We have our read right there. I don't know if I'm going to keep this clip right here. It's things about books. And we have our different, our sections, the reading log. Next section is our monthly reads love the way this looks this is the book log then we get to our index whole index section and then we're here with our vocabulary new words all right then our index and then we just have some blank paper okay guys that is it i am think i'm gonna go ahead and make my little labels right here and I'll be right back after I make the labels. All right, everyone. So I am back with this beauty. I went ahead and put my labels on here. Um, I used my, let me show you my label maker. I used my Dymo Letra Tag Label Maker to do this. It doesn't have a lot of fonts, but this is the font I like. I think I am going to cut down this tab just a little bit but guys this is so cute and I'm so ready to start reading my book and y'all know I get into these um, planners and think they're so cute but more than that y'all know I want to be productive and so I want to make sure that I am spending a few minutes a day just diving into something thank you so much for joining me today if you are new here please consider subscribing let me know in the comments below what books you're reading right now I would love to have some suggestions um, also, I just want to thank you all for supporting my channel. I have received two, not one, but two awards this past month. And it's because um, of you. It's because you're giving these videos likes. And YouTube has really been putting my videos out in front of people. And it's because you keep clicking the like button. Um, when you click the like button, it notifies YouTube and it just lets them know that the videos are liked and they should keep showing them. So thank you so much. I hope you have a great week and don't forget, take charge of your life one plan at a time. See you in the next video.